Similar to Apple's beginnings, Rooster Teeth was started in the spare bedroom of an apartment with three friends. Uh, over time, this small friend group has evolved into a multi-million dollar online powerhouse and providing entertaining content to its fans. Hello, potential interns. My name is Michael Galindo. And I am Andrew Bellet. And we are representatives from the Rooster Teeth Animation Department. And we're here to inform you about the basic idea of the animation department, our origins, and what we're all about. So I'm going to take you through the history of uh, the company itself, and then I'm going to hand it to Andrew. He's going to handle the origins of the animation department, and then he's going to take it to the accomplishments that we've accumulated over time, and he's going to finish up by letting you guys know about the future projects we have planned. So I hope you guys learned a lot, and we hope to have you on board soon. Um, as I said, Rooster Teeth was started by three people, and that is Jeff Ramsey, Bernie Burns, and Gus Arola. Uh, it all started, like, the ball started rolling when they uploaded a parody video of a Mac ad to their website, which was drunkgamers.com. And uh, the video quickly became viral, and over time, after a couple weeks, they got an offer from a PC Gaming Magazine to include the video on one of their CDs that they would include one of their monthly issues. So obviously they were very excited for the opportunity and they agreed, but there was one problem and that was uh, at the end of the video, there was a link to their Drunk Gamers website. But the website was now dead because it never really succeeded and they didn't really have the money to keep the website going. So they needed something to replace that link with. And uh, one of the videos they uploaded to that Drunk Gamers website was a trailer for an animated series called Red vs. Blue. It was going to be filmed entirely in a video game that was popular at the time called Halo. And uh, at the end of the video, it had a little coming soon snippet, but they never got to it. They ended up forgetting about it. But according to a Wired article, one of them just said, uh, why don't we just make the series and link that at the end of the video instead? So they started production, and on April 1st, 2003, uh, they uploaded the first video of Red vs. Blue to redversusblue.com. And that was the beginning of Rooster Teeth as a company. So now I'm going to pass it over to Andrew. He's going to let you guys know about the origins of the animation. All right, let's see if this works out this way. Awesome. So, start of the animation department. Basically began in late 2008 when as we described, Bernie Burns was looking for something more to add now to Red vs. Blue because by now they've already finished through their seventh <coughs> season. They're doing extremely well, and Bernie decided to add some more flair to the show itself. So he went out and searched for a long period of time and eventually came across Monty Om, the good looking blonde man right there. And Monty already by this time was a legend on YouTube because of his amazing animation skills. And when people saw that first episode of season eight of Red vs. Blue, when it was completely animated, everyone was just shocked and that beyond belief. They couldn't believe what they just saw. Complete animation on a whole different level. And it just excited audiences all over the world. Um, not only that, but and they began to gain more renown and you know, became more famous after season eight. And as I said, their main success was in the animation department, which at the time was just Monty by himself. So imagine doing all that work just by yourself. It's extremely difficult work. Um, and eventually after a while, they said, hey, we need to get more people on board. We need to divide tasks. And they eventually brought on Miles Luna and Kerry Shawcross, those two gentlemen right next to him. They were in charge of script writing, anything that involved dialogue and acting overall. Eventually, they also brought Gray Mardigan on scene, and he was their main producer for the next few years and is currently their producer. And as I mentioned, right now they are currently working on their two hit shows by far on their website, Red vs. Blue and Ruby. So, their past accomplishments. For the past four years now, they've been invited to the Streamy Awards, which is basically the Oscars of the internet. Really big thing. Uh, they won four years in a row for their animation, and it was mainly due to the work of Ruby and Red vs. Blue, because why 
like I said, they were um, animated in such amazing ways. Audiences just couldn't contain their excitement. Uh, and as I mentioned, they also are extremely popular on YouTube with over 8 million views, possibly even more different websites worldwide. So, yes. Now, we move on to their future works. People get excited. Ruby Volume 3 is now coming out late December. We get to see our favorite four students from Beacon again take on the competition tournament that they're going to have. And I'm also excited to announce that we will also be adding to the cast Vic Minonia and Elizabeth Maxwell, two really well-known and outstanding voice actors across all sorts of works they've done over the years. Fantastic people, too. It's, it's really exciting to see them on board for this. And we kind of left you all hanging on season 13 of Red vs. Blue, the very ending. What was going to happen next? Can't really talk about it too much now, but season 14 is in the works. So be ready for that late next year. And as they mentioned at RTX 2014, not too much at 2015 this year, Stranger <coughs> will make, be making its return, which is their other animated series where they take Sims characters and they basically mess around with them and give them all the personalities. Um, after a month and a half long hiatus, X-Ray and Bab will also be making its return in just two weeks. Uh, uh, <laughs> Gavin Free and Ray Navarro will be returning as the two main characters, X-Ray and Bab. So, well, again, get excited for it. Uh, now that we've gone over all that, my partner here will wrap things up for us. So we took you guys through the uh, humble beginnings of the company as a small friend group and we let you guys know about the accomplishments that we've achieved and finished up by letting you guys know the future works we have planned, like Ruby Season 3 and Red vs. Blue Season 14. So we hope you enjoyed the presentation.